All right, a 5.5 inch display, uh, Snapdragon 805 and two gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage, a 3000 milliamp hour battery, and Android L. See, that's how easy it is to just rant off a list of specs of things you wanna see in the next Nexus phone. But I'm actually gonna give you a couple more specific things that I would like to see, and maybe you'll agree with me. But all of this stuff is prefaced with the fact that I'm pretty confident that the Nexus program will continue to exist. There's been a lot of talk about rebranding it or Android Silver or whatever it's going to be changed to. Bottom line is it has to exist in some form because Google still needs some hardware partnership to show off the next version of Android on what they think the hardware should look like. Uh, case in point, uh, on-screen versus off-screen buttons. Before the Nexus S or the Galaxy Nexus, every version of Android uh, was used on phones with off-screen buttons. When they move those to on-screen buttons, slowly you've seen OEMs adopt that, and that's kind of what you expect to see in a Nexus phone. It's kind of leading the charge for the way Nexus develops. So that's why I think this Nexus program will continue to exist, and that's why I want to talk about it. So I've actually been using a Google Play Edition HTC One M8 on or off as a sort of a daily driver for the past couple of weeks now, but I've actually switched my SIM card back into the Nexus 5, my Nexus 5 running the Android L developer preview, not even a beta, not even close to a final release, but it's that good. So I really like it, and I think the switch over to this material design stuff seems like a great opportunity to refresh the hardware. So the first thing I'd like to see in the next Nexus is camera improvements. And this is actually not a hardware thing. As a matter of fact, the Nexus 5 actually has a pretty good camera in terms of hardware. It's an eight megapixel sensor made by Sony. It's used in a couple of other high-end smartphones. But other phones using the same sensor take better pictures than the Nexus 5. And that's because stock Android has always been really poor in the image processing department. For whatever reason, this has never been a big focus for Google. And as far as effort they put into the camera, it's usually way more into the user interface for the camera app to actually take pictures. So they've been lacking in the image processing department. So I'd love to see a focus here in the next version of Android and the next hardware. Now, second up is battery improvements. Now, I've actually started to see the beginning of this in the Android L developer preview. Believe it or not, my Nexus 5 lasts a lot longer on battery than it ever did with KitKat running this developer preview. And it's not even the final version of the OS. So for this next phone, I'd love to see a solid battery increase in there, maybe 2,800 milliamp hours or 3,000 milliamp hours. It might make the phone a little bit heavier. Maybe it won't be the thinnest thing in the world, but I think combining the Android L battery improvements with the new art runtime with a 15 to 20% larger battery could see some serious improvement in all day battery use. And that's really what we all want, isn't it? Now, graphics. Now, whoever you use to make the new hardware, Google, I'm sure the decision's already been made. But if you're watching this, don't skimp on the graphics, please. As much as we love that the Nexus is a notoriously inexpensive piece of hardware as a phone, uh, we'd still love to see a high-end graphics chip in there. Uh, for those of you who were at Google I.O. or were watching the presentations uh, about Android L, they made a big deal about how all these new animations will run at a smooth, constant 60 frames per second. This is something Project Butter didn't even do when it made a huge improvement to graphics. So that combined with the high-end graphics chip to ensure that there are no doubts could really make this new Nexus the first Android phone to compete with the silly buttery smoothness of iOS. So that's what I'm really looking forward to seeing out of the next Nexus. Whoever makes it, whatever size it is, however big the bezels are, whatever the deal is with it, that is at least what I would like to see. Now I asked on Twitter what you guys wanted to see and I got a lot of suggestions that would be great, but that I actually don't expect to see. Uh, first is uh, expandable storage with a micro SD card slot. Nexuses and Google have consistently moved away from that for the past couple of generations, so I wouldn't expect to see it. Same thing with a removable battery. Even though that would be great to be able to take the back off and just swap out batteries, they're implementing wireless charging now, and it's been three generations of Nexuses since we had last had a removable battery. So again, I wouldn't expect the next one to suddenly take a backward step. And lastly, there will never be another Verizon Nexus again. I'm pretty confident about that. And also a 2.5K display, like 2560 by 1440 display like we have in the Oppo Find 7 and the LG G3. Uh, again, just probably to, to keep with the trend of having a low cost phone and that kind of stuff would also put a strain on graphics. So I would assume we'd have to wait for the next, next Nexus, I guess the Nexus 7? Ne wait, Nexus 4, Nexus 5, Nexus 6. Nexus 7, would they name the next Nexus the Nexus 7, even though we already have a tablet 
No, probably not. But speaking of tablets, I just have to throw this in there because it's been, oh, a year, eight months, 20 days, and 13 and a half hours since the last Nexus 10 was released. Just saying, it's been a while. There have been rumors of this HTC Volantis nine inch all metal front facing speaker unibody new Nexus tablet coming out. But to be honest, uh, there, this Nexus rumors have been so few, few and far between. It kind of sounds like fantasy at this point. A lot of the rumors I keep hearing for a new Nexus tablet sound really unrealistic. But when you think about it, the Nexus 10, at least at this point, is still a really solid tablet. We might not even need an upgrade. I mean, it has a 2560 by 1440, big, bright, beautiful display. It has a 9,000 milliamp hour battery. It's still thin, it's still light. It still has those awesome front facing speakers. It's everything that it set out to be. And I don't even know if we really need an upgrade, although it still would be nice to have some refreshed hardware to go with the new material design stuff. So what do you wanna see in the next Nexus's, Nexus, Nexus I? Nexus, Nexus I. What do you, what do you, what do you want to see in the next Nexus phone and next Nexus tablet? Feel free to leave a comment below or leave a thumbs up if you already agree with what I gave in this wishlist video. Uh, definitely looking forward to see what you guys post. Thank you for watching this one. Uh, another one coming up very soon, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.